Oh, what's up, Sports Room? MD Phenom. Another episode of Trash Talk, the last one of the year. It's kind of sad, the season's all over with. Well, I admit that I didn't really know what to wear for this NBA Draft edition of Trash Talk. Normally, I would wear my Kevin Garnett Boston Celtics t-shirt jersey to show my support for the Boston Celtics and Kevin Garnett. But during the NBA draft, Kevin Garnett, my favorite player who I've supported for many, many years now, has been traded, which means that within 72 hours, Boston traded away their coach, Kevin Garnett, and Paul Pierce. But anyhow, very important draft for the Spurs. <sighs> Needing more help in the backcourt. Obviously, Tony Parker can't do this all by himself, and uh, Manu Ginobili going on free agency. Uh, hopefully... Hopefully Manu staying with the Spurs. I, I think he will, and honestly, as one of my favorite players on the Spurs, honestly, my ba favorite player on the Spurs since David Robinson retired. Started from the bottom, and we are still here. Back to where we started from. More drama about Dwight Howard. I'm really not liking how desperate the Lakers make it seem to keep Dwight Howard right now. I honestly don't want him here, like I said from the beginning and my opinion still hasn't changed. I don't want him here. If he wants to leave, he could go wherever he wants. That way, we could finally get that out of the way and play some real basketball. Um, Kevin Garnett goes to Brooklyn, along with Paul Pierce and Jason Terry. Boston gets, in return, Chris Humphreys, Gerald Wallace, and some draft picks. I have always supported Kevin Garnett. I will continue to support him, but I don't think that I will support the Brooklyn Nets, other than in a situation where they would be eliminating Miami Heat wholeheartedly going in to support the Cleveland Cavaliers. Take Anthony Bennett, number one overall in the NBA draft. Anthony Bennett was a surprise pick to many. He was a surprise to me, only because Cleve has a power forward in Tristan Thompson that they drafted just two, maybe three years ago. Center was a need. That Cleveland had. Spurs with the 28th overall took Livio Jean Charles, power forward from France. Let's just make it just the team Team France for America, right? This is a guy that scored uh, 28 points against Team USA, the uh, the Junior University US. But anyhow, he's a six foot eight Frenchman, power forward. Uh, both of the picks the Spurs took were forwards. Uh, definitely looking forward to the future post Tim Duncan with this pick, and. Uh, Hopefully uh, he ends up being a really good player. The second pick the Spurs took at the end of the second round, um, and this is the pick where you're saying, oh, this is a quality pick. They took Deshaun Thomas from Ohio State. I think that's like seven years in a row Ohio State players have been drafted in the NBA draft, and only just barely in this instance. Scored like 20 uh, points a game in, in the one of the toughest conferences in the inside, in, in CAA. A, a player that probably shouldn't have gone that late in the draft. The Lakers were number 48 in the draft pick and they got Ryan Kelly. He's a 6'11 power forward from Duke. And well, based off of Duke's you know, long line of good basketball players. This guy could be a good pick. But as a Laker fan, I know we don't need a power forward. We need a center that doesn't cry and a point guard that's not about to retire. So where are we gonna go with this? I don't know. That, I mean, it makes sense to pick what you need when he's the best player. I don't know. I don't know what the thought process was. Maybe they have a trade that they're trying to get rid of. Maybe Tristan Thompson. I don't know why. I think that he is doing well. I just don't understand why you pick a position that you don't necessarily need. Draft was not very kind to me. Brooklyn did, however, draft Mason Plumley which was the silver lining that I took away from the draft. I, I, am, I am a huge Duke Blue Devil fan, so I was happy to see him go somewhere where he can learn behind Brooke Lopez, maybe learn a little bit from Kevin Garnett. A little disappointed that that is the end of the NBA season, and I have to wait for good news until next year. About a week ago, Metal World Peace announced something special on Facebook and his Twitter saying that 
it was good to be in LA and blah 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 make it making it seem like he was gonna leave the Lakers but the good thing is that he's, he he was just joking various rumors about getting Monty Ellis Kyrie Irving now if it was up to me I would get Ricky Rubio and Kevin Love out of the Timberwolves and bring them over here and uh, honestly they're they're listing him as a possible Dwayne Dwan Blair replacement and honestly he does remind me of the same mold as Dwan Blair I think the Spurs did good take it easy basketball fans if you want to stick around on sports room channel in two weeks from now we will be bringing you the football show so that's it for me the last episode of uh, trash talk for the year um wow uh, it's been fun I've, I've had way too much fun I look forward to, to coming back next year but we all know that can't happen and well I think that's pretty much it for the NBA season on behalf of the sports room channel thank you for watching the sports room that you want to watch for your trash talk we're not calling it trash talk though no copyright infringement to you, Christian. We're gonna call it gridlocked, as in gridiron locked. I will see you soon. Uh, for football season. Let's let's do it.